to experience right. the fullness right. of God. Right, your proximity to any kind of location or event does not impact your ability to experience the fullness of God. Right. If you think it does, then that's what I would call pseudo-spirituality, right. where that's not really spirituality. That's like the world's idea of trying to trump up what looks spiritual or right. Right? Right. 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 this looks spiritual we gonna do this we gonna say that right and it's it's actually just it just demonstrates and listen every single one of us have been there before mm -hmm. it just demonstrates presence of a sin stained conscience still mm -hmm. your conscience is still stained with the knowledge of good and evil That's right. if you're think if you're discerning things that way if you should look on anything and say that is evil, like we're talking about the event, just like if you say Mardi Gras is evil, to me that would be a symptom of a sin, sin stained conscience, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. it's neither good or evil, it's what's in the heart of a person and what they're doing while they're there, right? Mm -hmm. And so to, to, to come up with the idea that by that somehow I've reached some heightened spiritual experience whereby now. Because I'm more spiritual, I don't have time for Mardi Gras. What, what that suggests to me is that your conscience towards Mardi Gras was corrupted to begin with. The problem is, is your conscience, right? not the Mardi Gras. And if you think you've reached a heightened level of spirituality because you're abstaining from Mardi Gras now, I would say you still have a problem with your conscience. <laughs> yes, and so right. it would actually demonstrate that your, your spirituality is in the same place as it was before. <laughs> right? It's just now you're trying to outwardly... <laughs> right? You're saying my outward thing is is different. Um, I mean, listen, John the Baptist, he was what they called of the Nazarene, right? right? Which means they were highly strict and disciplined, disciplined in how they looked, how they ate, the thing, everything. I mean, like monks or whatever is the closest mm -hmm. things we could look yeah. at. Highly disciplined, right? Well, Jesus come and they call him a wine bibber and a glutton. So you had John, not John the Baptist who wouldn't eat or drink anything, yeah. nothing, and they rejected him. And now you got Jesus comes, and Jesus is eating and drinking with the people, right. and they called him a wine bibber and a glutton, mm -hmm. right? So e this, either way, the religious mind will find the problem either way, sure. right? Yeah. The, and that's the whole point. The religious mind will always find the problem, but the problem is in the mind. <laughs> that's the problem, mm -hmm. right? It's a conscience stained by sin. Are, are there some people at Mardi Gras that have the wrong thing in their heart? And absolutely. But there's some people riding on the road today that have the wrong thing in their heart. <laughs> I'm not going to be now more spiritual if I don't get a, go get out on the road with them. Yeah. Can't go to work. Right. Can't go to work. <laughs> right. I mean, you sure can't go to church. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can't go to church. That's right. <laughs> Somebody might have the wrong thing in their mind. You definitely can't go to church. Maybe even Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, Ooh, it's, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> What'd you say? I, I was, I mean, while Greg was speaking, I was thinking about that scripture about, you know, I, I sang you a, a dirge. You what? Yeah. I, I sang you a funeral procession, yeah, and then I time. came celebrating, and you still. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that. That, that's what came to my mind. This, what, this is what's cool about that statement. He said, to what can I compare this generation? For John right. the Baptist came not eating and drinking. Right. And I came eating and drinking. You yeah. called him, uh, said he had a demon. You say I'm a glutton and a wine dipper. Right. But he, and then he goes on to say, to what can I compare his just? It's like we sang a song for you. Right. And you didn't dance. It was the rest and we of sang that. a dirge. And you didn't mourn. Exactly. So in other words, it was no, there's no answer for these people. Right. But, but right, right. he said, but wisdom, speaking of himself and John, John the Baptist, he said, but wisdom is justifier of her children. Mm. Wisdom. And that is a cool uh, statement. That is a you profound that thing is to a, say. You you got got Jesus wisdom. dropping like it's hot, boy. <laughs> 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 Have some of that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's so, it's so interesting, though, because, like, 